um, I haven't actually done like another like update vlog in a while, so I thought I'd just kind of do something simple. Um, don't mind anything in the background. I was gonna watch Netflix and and other things, but anyway, point being is I was just gonna talk about some of the stuff I plan on doing soon. Uh, for example, I'll be heading to GameCon. Uh, September 9th, whatever, 9th and 10th, I believe, and it's going to be really fun, and I'm excited to do it because it's a new con in town, and I'll be actually selling there under Bleached Kitten, but I'll be cosplaying Bowser, the really nerdy version from the commercial, and I'll be doing a squidling with Buddy Buds, so that's something I'll be doing soon. Uh, another stuff, I actually have it on my phone because I don't remember all the things that we do. Uh, going to Akimatsuri and I'm mostly going to be cheering on my buddies because I don't really have a skit or anything planned uh, as much as I'd love to win prize money. Um, I don't have anything planned out so I'm probably going to just be taking pictures of people, having fun walking around and everything like that. Uh, next we have Ren Fair, which is going to be fun. I don't actually know how long we're going to be at Ren Fair because Occupant Series one day, then Ren Fair is the next. And I'm really trying to go to Disney with the Lolitas. So I don't even know if I'm going to go to Ren Fair. But it's kind of been a tradition now, or it's going to start to be a tradition, that Ren Fair is a place that me and the hubby have to go because that's the first place where he actually built up the courage to start to hang out with me before he asked me out on a date. So... It's kind of going to try to be a tradition thing, but it, uh, Disney versus Ren Fair, Disney wins if I can get to go. I have friends that might help me, so we'll see what happens. After uh, Disney, Anime Bonsai is coming up, and that's going to be in Utah, and that's going to be really fun too, because I get to see all my Utah buddies again, I get to see the Otaku Dream Cafe, and I'm so excited to go, because I'll be selling there for the first time uh, under Bleach Kitten again, so if you're going, by, by all means, come pop by, talk to me. Uh, we're doing non baka which i'm doing nico uh then we're gonna be doing blue exorcist i'll be bringing back father fujimoto i haven't done father fujimoto in forever and i really enjoy the way i look as an old man it's really weird for some reason i feel like i make a very attractive old man but regardless of that um i'll be doing father fuji and then i don't think i've decided for what i want to do uh, the last day or one more day, I was supposed to help in the skits with uh, Subaru, but uh, I don't think I can afford to build what I was originally going to be making because it was supposed to be Chibi Moon, but I don't think I can do that anymore. Either way, uh, I'll figure out something, and uh, if not, I'll bring back something old, maybe wear Bowser again or something like that, because Bowser is like the one cosplay I feel super comfortable in. Um, outside of that, I'm also working SabaCon. I work SabaCon every year so far, or at least for the past three years. I've been going to SabaCon every single year since it started. And I'm really excited to work again this year. Um, I'll be actually working, per usual, the exhibitor hall, but I'll also be working in the hentai lounge because we'll be having exhibitors there this time. I'm hoping to be helping out with a few other things, but I'm not sure if I can actually be saying those right now. Um, I'm going to probably be, let's see, I don't even think those are set in stone. I'm going to try to do Deku for, from Hero Academia. I'm going to try to do Elma from uh, Dragon Maid. Uh, I want to try to do Pochico or the Me 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 Girl uh, for the Hentai Lounge for one of the days because one of the other days I might be busy, but uh, if I'm going to be in there, I want to try to do something matching with the lounge, so I might be doing sexy cosplay. But, um, Hopefully I can do that. Hubby's going to try to do a few things with me, don't know what, and I'm going to be helping out around per usual, but if you're going to SabaCon, by all means, come visit me. Uh, I'm working, but so I'm sorry if I can't really have a full-on conversation or do any photo shoots, but I will still love to see you and come by the booth. Buy things from me because I'm broke and I need to make more cosplay and feed myself, so come to the Bleach Kitten table and buy things from me. That's just a little update on the things that are going to be happening. Uh, I'm hoping I can actually sell at HoneyCon, too. That's in December. Uh, December HoneyCon is a League of Legends convention. And if all goes right, I'll either be doing Veeger or I'll be doing Heimerdinger. I don't know how I got stuck with choosing between Yordles. I know Hubby said that he kind of wants to do Rakan and Zaya, but I'd actually like to try to work out a little bit before I do Zaya because there's all these gorgeous Zayas all over the internet. And... Not that I'm competing with anyone, but I want to feel like I can kind of, you know, be a part of that whole gorgeous Zaya trend. So I'm hoping that eventually I'll cosplay Zaya and my hubby will be Rakan, but uh, eventually we'll get there. In the meantime, Veeger's fine because it's really fun to run around and just bother people in his voice because I like to, um, 
when we play League, I'm really bad. I will play Vigor sometimes mid lane, and I will sit there quoting everything he says, and eventually I'm sure it gets really annoying for my friends. But I'll sit there and be like, I am evil, stop laughing, and constantly be doing that. I can't seem to do the voice today, but <laughs> normally I can do his voice pretty decently, and it's really fun, so I can't wait to do Vigor and run around torturing people with the stupid little voice of Yordle that I can do. Um... But that's mostly what we're doing for the year. Um, I have actually been taking it easy, chilling out and trying to be anxiety free. It's been really hard because uh, I've had a lot of stuff I've not needed to deal with and a lot of friends and, and issues that I need to deal with. But I have been doing my best to kind of take it with stride and, you know, fix me before I worry about anybody else. And going through this whole motion and, and thing of I need to love me. If you don't love me, fine, whatever, and if you don't have the courage to tell me you don't love me anymore, or you don't want to be my friend, there's something wrong with you, whatever, that's on you. I need to take it into stride that I need to protect myself and love myself more often. And it's hard because I grew up not loving myself at all, and with a dad who kind of taught me not to love myself, and to pretty much just be there, you know, be seen and not heard, you know, don't do anything bad, make sure you have good grades, but shut up, you know, so it, it, having a life like that, and my mother is a beautiful and wonderful person who's taught me so much and how I need to be as a woman, but it, it still knocks you down. So. I'm slowly building up. I've been to the doctors multiple times. I recently, I got a tooth removed. Not that you need to see that, but I got my tooth removed because it the, there was a cavity in it and the cavity filling came out and I was stuck with it for two months because I had no insurance. I finally got everything put together and fixed and now I got it out. So that's recovering. I got this out actually like a few days ago. So that's recovering. And uh, I went to the doctor for checkups, and my diabetes is getting handled and under control a little better, and that's exciting. So uh, a lot of things, uh, and that's probably why I'm in a better mood. I did at one point get help for depression and things like that, but honestly, I feel like I'm in a better mood because I'm, I'm forcing myself in a better place, honestly, because I've learned that I can't wait anymore. I need to just put myself in a better place. So... That's basic updates, um, not to mention, apparently being a vlogger is something that's interesting from me, and I didn't think that people would be interested in hearing me talk about my life and this stupid stuff I do and see me put on all these random wigs because I don't like my own hair yet. <laughs> um, so I'm, I'm excited that I can actually sit and talk and kind of pour out my heart and my feelings without there being any kind of judgment about it, you know, using it as a platform to kind of therapy myself, I guess. So uh, I've been doing the Sarah Ha thing, and if you have any messages from Sarah Ha and you want to send me anything, by all means, do that. Uh, if you like this video or you want to see me do more little mini update vlogs or just what we're doing, vlogging at conventions, vlogging at my art tables, you know, I do have another uh, channel for speed art and my art stuff, so by all means, go check that out. I'll put a link in the description below. Um, so... If you want to see more stuff, just let me know, because I have been now just been doing this stuff for fun. I'm sure two years from now, I'll look back at it with a kid and be like, wow, I'm really cringy, and I talk too much, and why am I doing this? But, you know, honestly, I've always been an open book, and I feel really good about just talking with there being no problem and no fight and people not, you know, jumping down people's throats over it. So, anyway, thank you so much for watching and checking up on this update. Um... I hope you have a good week, I hope you have a good life, and by all means, like, subscribe, share, do what you need to do. I'm going to try to be talking soon, building up the courage to talk about a few subjects that I want to talk about, like uh, cosplay positivity, plus-size cosplaying, uh, the drama that's been happening a lot over people fighting over stuff that's not even necessary, but that's a whole other story. A whole other story, sorry. Um, so... Uh, once again, if you want to hear that kind of stuff, see that kind of stuff, by all means, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff. But thank you so much for watching, and I will see you later. Bye!